before I begin this video, I just want to say, obviously I'm a few days in now, but I forgot to film this little part just for the start. Um, I've wanted a real job since I was literally 13. Um, it's been a thing I've thought about for years and years. It's not something that should be taken lightly. It's not something you just should decide overnight. Um, and it is a, it's a hard process. Like you're recovering, your body is under a lot of trauma and stuff like that. It's not something that should be taken lightly or you see someone getting one and you're like, I want one now. Um, I think it's really, really important to put a lot of time into thinking about it if it's something you want to do. Don't just look into it because I have one. Don't just get one because I have one. I feel like that's like obvious to say, but I know that things can be really, really easy influenced. Um, but for me, it's something I have thought about for literally probably like eight years. I've thought about it. Um, and I think it's really important to give things like that time. It's not like buying a new top where you just, you just get it, you know, there's no repercussions. It's a big deal. It's surgery. It's going under the knife. Um, it's not something that should be ever, ever taken lightly. I'm not telling anyone they need one. This was such a personal decision, decision for me. Just showing you my, my progress and my experience with it. Obviously, everyone's going to be different as well. Um, and yeah, I just want to put pop that in there because I know I do have a younger following as well. Um, I don't think anyone needs a boob job. It was literally personal thing for me oh it's not it's not for anyone else to make sure that if you do want to get it done or you're looking into it wait till you're you know a good age when you're fully developed don't go getting when you're 18 um a rat like that I, i'm at 22 now going 23 this year so that was a good age for me personally um but yeah just just obviously give it a lot a lot of thought don't just do it because you see someone else do where you think it looks oh that's not as bad as i thought it was don't just do it for that reason there's a way in which influencing is good and it might like make you to like do different types of makeup or try different types of clothes but if you're constantly looking at someone and you want to change yourself because of how that person might be changing themselves it might be a good idea to unfollow them i don't know it could be like for your own benefit like i would never be offended if someone was unfollowing me because they were like oh no she makes me want to change myself because i never want to make want to make anyone want to change themselves that's the last thing I want to do I just like sharing my real experiences of things I do um and just being completely honest, honest which is about stuff as well so I just want to add that in there as well um but if you do feel like that feel free to unfollow me I will never ever be offended um by that because that's that's just never my intention it's just to you know bring it about my life and things I do um hopefully that's a bit entertaining to watch sometimes as well so yeah, so I'm sad that as well. Hey everyone, so I'm in Lithuania, about to get, well, not about to get my baby job, but get my baby job tomorrow. Um, I'm sure you've heard me talk about my baby job in my previous videos. If you haven't, I'm getting a baby job. Ali, my friend's getting done with me as well. Same surgeon, literally back to back surgeries. Yeah, I'll take us along with me. Um, just about to go sleep. Our COVID test is in the morning. <laughs> we um, we have to fast though. This is the issue. This is what I'm coming on to. We have to fast from 9 p.m. And our surgery isn't until, what time? Oh, 3, 3 p.m. And you can't even eat after surgery for three or four hours. Morning, so it's seven o'clock Lithuanian time and five o'clock Irish time, so. We're literally wrecked. I feel like we didn't sleep great either. We kept waking up to make sure we weren't missing it or anything like that. But we have a COVID test now at seven. We're getting it just to make sure we're okay before, before surgery and then surgery today at three o'clock. So still doesn't feel real. My hair is in little French plaits. Cause it's gonna be wet to my head. I'm not gonna be able to wash it properly for probably the week. I don't know, I'm gonna see how, I, how I'm feeling, but um, we're just waiting to get collected to go to the clinic. Well, in the clinic we meet our surgeon again. Just check sizes. Um, I'm actually still between two sizes, so I need to pick my size pretty quickly. Um, and then get blood tests. And what else is it? Oh yeah, he does all like the drawings on your chest to like show where he's putting the, the implant in and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll check him in a few minutes. We're walking in now. Oh my God, I'm Oh my God. My heart is going. <laughs> I wonder what's her. I just had my blood done there and I'm just, I'm so dramatic. Like I thought I was going to faint, even though I was on, I was lying down. No, I was sitting down and I was like, I think I'm going to faint. And <laughs> she put like this cold thing on my head. My hair's all wet now. So, I don't know how to you, our surgery day got changed. Sorry. We were originally supposed to be the second and today's the first. Then last week we were like, 
we were told that it was going to be the first instead. We were like, it was not the second. They were like, no, but there was a mix up and we actually were never changed. So we've always been the second. So we, we today we thought we were on for surgery and we weren't. But we are blood done and fashion for nothing. So <laughs> now we are milling this bar. We're going to get food now. <laughs> 20 hours later. Oh my God. I just had my cheeseburger and then I got this like bacon cheese thing. Cheese bites, chips, and then my nuggets never came, but I'm kind of glad because I gotta feel a bit sick. We just got more food because we're conserving. This is from a place called Tal Lutti. Um, so I got pizza, and we got the waffles, and I got apple pie. Looks so nice. And then I got burgers and chips. We're not allowed to have garlic sauce because it tends your blood or something. We are just watching another boob job vlog. I think it's our 20th um, in the last few days. But we are getting collected at half 10 in the morning for surgery. My surgery's at two o'clock. Um, I feel like I said that 20 times already, but I'm getting mixed up talking like on Instagram with my friends. We're basically packed from today thinking we're getting surgery. So not much to do there. Um, throw on my tracksuit off shower. And then we're good to go. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. I'm still lovely and full, thank God. I ate so much food today. Not <laughs> real allowed to eat. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the morning. This is what our night has come to. <laughs> Can't Echo, sleep. Echo, fear, and worries, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> Same outfit again. Literally. Off we go for the second time. This is the view. <laughs> the room is stunning. Like, look at the big TV. Me and Ali are together obviously because we flew together and stuff, so it was fine to do that. Our toilet is in the other room. And then here's our little gowns. And then this is our menus for dinner and breakfast for when we're out. So there's loads of choice, you can just like check off what you want. So I would like. This dress shows my absolute bum crack. But look at the snow outside, like this is a tennis court and it literally, like look how deep them footprints go. So I'm just in in my gown now. I forgot to show the little wardrobe as well, but um, I'm trying to like clean everything else. It's just like, so clean. <laughs> I know obviously the next event we and stuff, but like, so nice. Um, yeah, it's going to the bathroom and then the anesthesiologist, someone correct me, let's go. Anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist is coming in and they give you like a little champagne, he calls it, um, for, not actual champagne, before you go in just to calm you down, relax you a little bit. How do you feel? You feel? Just a bit like... <laughs> a little bit dry. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Best of luck, I don't. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Harry Styles on the Demi. <laughs> How do you feel? Like, I can't believe it's over. It was so quick. I was having dreams and all. Were you? Yeah, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember when you wake up properly. Yeah. That was brilliant. How's your vlog? I, I, like, even when you get up, I was like so calm. I love my hair. I don't think I've recorded on the camera yet. Hey, vlog. So I'm a bit on drugs. Um, but yes, surgery all went well. I'm much more alert now than I was. I was literally in a different country when I got, well, I am in a different country, but do you know what I mean? I was in a different planet. Yeah, all went really well, no complications. Surgery came in, had a little chat with us, or with me. Um, and it all went okay. So I'm just having my dinner now. I haven't eaten in 22 hours. I got some toast, yogurt. And a chicken Caesar salad and then some juice. So yeah, I'm going to tuck into this. So it is now half nine at night here. I just got up again, went to the toilet. Um, it was fine, a little bit of pain. I wouldn't even call it pain, it's just like an ache more so. Like, do you know when you go to the gym, it's that kind of pain. Do you know when you go to the gym and you do like a bad leg day, obviously it's not your legs, but like, and it's everything's kind of harder to do and you're like, ah when you're moving it's kind of like that so far anyway i'll let you know if that, that changes obviously i'm a lot of painkillers as well it's kind of sore like the sides of my boobs like kind of not under my arm but like you know like side boob it's kind of sore there like kind of aching a little bit but i'd say we're probably gonna go sleep soon i think we get a sleeping tablet to kind of knock us out um 
it's obviously not the most comfortable sleep we're sitting kind of high up <laughs> so we'll see how that goes i couldn't really eat that food when i got it i don't know if i said that already but i just felt a bit like ali's not even hungry and she hasn't eaten in longer than me i think yeah. um but i don't know what it was i think it's like the medication and i was just kind of picking and i you just don't want a full meal like you think you'll want oh my god i want everything but like you just don't like we were on order mcdonald's and all on top of the dinner but then now we're just like not i barely ate my food so in the morning we go and we get our plastic changed and we get to have a look at them i had a little look in the well not in the bar i just had a look down oh, my, my chest. chest yeah i'm dropping my remote on the ground for the for the bed and i'm sitting up at like a 90 degree angle i'm trying not to laugh every time you say you drop the remote because you genuinely can't be cool like, i know yourself, like... i'm so helpless oh and i nearly had it and then you just went oh, no. on the ground I'm still away with fairies, but yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired now. Are you tired, Ali? Yeah, I feel actually not Yeah, I feel a little thugged. Probably just from like the stress today and I'm still on medication, but yeah. Check in with you um, a bit later before bed. Put my hand out. Yeah, hi. Hi. Like playing it? Yeah. Like grand. Oh, oh, Ali. Oh, we thought that after, after fall. Oh, my Slow motion for So we just got our little, what was that thing we got injected? Anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory into our little, this thingy, catheter I think is, no. I really don't think that's the word for it. And maybe it is, no, I don't know. We got an injection so that's, ignore the double chins. I'm sorry, this whole video is a double chin. But we got our painkiller for the night for before we go to sleep. And then we got a sleeping tablet to take before we go to sleep as well. We have to sit sitting up kind-ish. So it's going to be quite uncomfortable. And I've never slept on my back before in my life. So that'll be interesting. Yay. We just took our little painkiller things. A little bit of water. We're just standing because we don't really know. I'm going to the, the cream. Out. So we just got a little night sleeping mask cream thing. So I'm just going to rub it in. It feels really nice and hydrating. Doesn't it? Good morning. I literally feel like I look dead. I'm still so tired. We um we took that sleeping tablet and then after an hour we still couldn't sleep. We were two mummies lying in the bed. We still couldn't sleep, took the other one and then knocked out after a while. I was kinda of having like mad dreams while I was still awake. I forget them. Um and then I was the most conked out then. After that, I'm just glad the first night is over and I felt a bit like and she's about being able to sleep and all, like, what some happened in the night, but like, I literally was grand, so I'm really glad that night's over. But, yeah, I'm just very sleepy. I could definitely want a bit more sleep. Now, eight o'clock, so, some toast, orange juice, and yogurt, some sweet porridge, a stone up, and a boil bit. <laughs> So we just got our boob massage and we got all our medications for going home to the hotel, obviously. Um, we're going home, got told to change our bandages and stuff like that. We're coming back on Friday though to change our bandages, so we're not going to do that before then. Aren't we not? We'll wait till then. Yeah. Don't Didn't he say? To. No. Is it today? He said, I think we only start, it's Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, so it's yeah there's no, yeah. So we're just going to get them to do it and then afterwards, obviously, when you go fly home, you have to do it yourself. So they show you that as well, but it's really, really easy to do. And um, we got a look at the twins. I'm obsessed. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like I didn't have an image in my head. Of what they were going to To be, make. yeah, which is good. I didn't have, like, yeah. an expectation of, like, oh, I want them to look exactly like this. Like, they just look like my boobs still in the shape and sale stuff, which I love. And they just look bigger and, and better. And I'm just so excited. The tops are a little bit swollen. I think they need to go down, um, which, obviously, it's day one. Like, um, but I'm just obsessed. Like, I love them. Okay, so we just ordered from this place, just if you're coming here and you are looking for food places, they literally deliver at your door, and um, it's called Vault, it's a food app, deliver it right to your bed, like your bedroom door, you don't have to have any contact with anyone, um, which is obviously fab, and it's just handy for, you know, not have to move very far when you're recovering. So this one's called Casa del Pasta Old Town, I haven't tried this yet, but it smells amazing, I just got the, the pasta with cheese, this was so nice, the bruschetta with ham and cheese as well, and then Ali got... What was it like tomato pasta? Bon so, oh, did you get to book in the end? Actually, bon don't worry, matching pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> um, pain wise, I feel like I go in and out of like being kind of sore. Like right now, I'm fine. Just when you're moving and stuff, there's no cutlery by the way, so top six might take too much of my energy. Um, but yeah, the pain is like 
fine. It is no, it is more than yesterday, definitely. I'd say more of like a four, four to a five, maybe. Five when you're getting up and you're kind of uncomfortable. You just have to be careful and like try not to, you know, hold things up like I am right now with the camera. So kind of put it down and enjoy my pasta. So it is day. Oh, no, no, rough today. It's day. I used to put pepper into her coffee, and that's how our morning is going. It's day three after surgery. So I'm just picking up two. Yeah. Why? It's fried. The breakfast is. It's not the worst, you know. It's. I feel like it's better for us than getting like McDonald's breakfast. We got, I got a bit in water, normal water, a few sausages, cheese and ham. I actually love all that. That's really the main breakfast now. We got a little mini croissant with jam, cheese of toast and a little salad and a yogurt. The hot dog is interesting. The hot dog is, to say the least. <laughs> As the clips go on, my hair gets wilder and wilder, but I do want about that, so deal with it and my chin gets bigger and bigger because I'm it lower down. Good morning everyone, I'm just recording this sitting on the toilet but I'm not actually on the toilet because I'm so, we're on day three. It's day three isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're on day three and we're after waking up in a lot of tightness and soreness kind of, I'd say about seven out of ten. Um, especially when you're just waking up, you're after being stiff all night you're lying in the same position. That when you wake up obviously you're going to be Sore, do you know? Um, and look at the TV. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you on, on that because it's not fun time right now, it's quite sore. I just wanted to let you know that because I know the whole time we've been like, oh, it's fine most of the time, but like it, it is sore, it's not definitely not a walk in the park. <laughs> um, we are going now to get a COVID test. Our massage, a little check up to make sure everything's okay, and beyond then, I look like I look fucked, but we're still awake after them, so you can help take it like they actually knock you out, which is really good. But I'm gonna try my dress now and, and go to our appointments. I just got sick after my COVID test, didn't feel that at all. I think it's just the medications, and we don't have breakfast, and then the COVID test's gone. Back. So we're just back from our three day checkup. So we're three days now. Well, it's Friday and we got our operation on Tuesday. So three days, we got our bandage changed, we got a boob massage and we got a facial as well in the fee clinic. Um, I feel like I'm some more pepped up now than I was this morning. I was so, we were in quite bad pain. It was the worst we'd felt it. And obviously when something gets worse, you're kind of like worried. And I don't know, I felt a bit like on edge, I feel like, but the facial and the boob massage just like, we were so relaxed afterwards and um, then the COVID test obviously I told you as well I got sick straight after because I was feeling really nauseous I took my tablets on an empty stomach this morning and then they went like all the way back to my throat and were swimming it around and I was like oh no and I sent I came out and I was like this and then Ali was like girl do you have any water like I think she's gonna get sick and then I just went yeah, and just got sick um but yeah feeling 10 times better now that was our last little checkup another massage on Sunday but just before our flight she comes to our hotel room now and does it then we're not going to see the surgeon again now, um, unless obviously we need to. But first up we have my miso soup, and um, little sauces, prawn tempura, and then I got these like spicy tuna rolls, they're so crispy. Oh my god, that looks amazing. I'm actually so hungry. So our pain today is much better than yesterday. Yesterday morning was quite rough. I don't think I even filmed that much yesterday no we don't think I did it was quite bad I just didn't really have, even have the energy to film to be honest we got our massage and we got a facial done in Fee Clinic as well they kindly invited us in for one and if you're going there for any treatments in the future rather than any surgeries rather than, I'd recommend getting like a little facial on top or something like that because it really just like pepped us up and our skin was like screaming for a bit of a bit of facial or a bit of um, moisture afterwards so that was really nice but yeah yesterday we kind of were Dead to the world, probably the worst, the worst of the days. My pain went up to about a seven out of ten, I'd say. Um, that was probably the highest that it got. But yeah, def yesterday definitely wasn't, wasn't fun. So we're feeling a lot more. Well, actually, last night then we got a bit more energy, and this morning I feel like I have a lot more energy as well, which is good. So I changed my plasters there for the first time about an hour ago. Um, I felt a little bit like, oh, doing it. I think I just built up my head, and then made myself feel just like faint and. Like a bit dizzy 
Um, because obviously just the thought of like peeling up the old one off and putting a new one on, making sure everything's okay. Um, it's obviously really bad if you know you're getting infection or something. You have to be so careful cleaning it. Um, my hands have a little twitch. But it stopped. <laughs> you just have to be really, really careful cleaning it. That's a huge thing. The aftercare. It's it doesn't stop at you just getting your boobs done and going home. Do you know there's aftercare to it. Um, because it can be really, really dangerous if you don't follow that and you, you know, just leave it and stuff. Um, so yeah, the first time was successful in me. Got it done. Just getting lunch now and then we are going home tomorrow. We're getting a little massage in the morning at 9 and then our flight is at one forty, so we're going to go to the airport at like 11. Um, and yeah, the week is so far. I feel like I flew in but also it was slow, so much happened. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that that bandage part is, is over. <laughs> we are now going to bed. It's our last night here. I forgot that angle though. We're getting her boob massage at 9am and then we're leaving for the airport at 11. So we need to pack a little bit before and after. It won't take me long, it's a little suitcase, but I'm just making it. I'm just giving myself a lot of time just in case. Um, and then we're getting breakfast as well outside downstairs again. Even though it's a bit weird, it's a bit of a weird breakfast, but um, yeah, it's her last day. The pain today has been so much better compared to, comparison to yesterday. I don't think I realised how bad yesterday's pain was until today. Definitely not. Do you know? I'm only realising now, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's more so in hindsight, you're like, oh my god, that actually was really bad pain, rather than at the time, because at the time I was kind of expecting it to get, you're kind of waiting for it to get worse, so you're like, okay, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, but looking back, it was about a 7, I'd say, 7.5 out of 10 um, it, at certain points it's not it's not constant but it's at certain points you're like that and like it feels really really heavy and tight so yeah I'm gonna go sleep now I'll try to do this in the morning um, good night from me and the twins <laughs> so we are just done our boob massage we are packed we're ready because the airport we're leaving in about 15 minutes we got our breakfast as well just have something in our stomachs um but yeah that's our boob journey over well the journey isn't over yet we still have to like recover 100 percent and minor stuff and stuff like that but the the being here part of it is over um it's been been good <laughs> and i now have new twins i love how they don't look like really overpowering in a top because that's exactly what i wanted i wanted boobs but i didn't want it to be like boobs like she's all boobs if that makes sense so i feel like i'm really happy with how they look they're obviously still a bit swollen so they'll go down even more and i'm wearing like one of them support bras as well um but yeah our flight is in a couple of hours i think we get home at like three o'clock irish time so i'll probably be wrecked after the flight i feel like i won't I, the vlog's meant to go up today i haven't, ed I haven't edited it yet I, f I felt like i thought i would have been more able to do things like, I knew I'd be better to the bed, but I thought I'd be more, like, cognitively there in my brain. But I just don't think we were. The medication is very strong, and every time I kind of went to do something, I'd kind of be like, oh, I'd get really tired. Or you just can't focus on things properly, I feel like, until, like, maybe last night. And then I was kind of, I just didn't edit my vlog, basically. So, hopefully this goes up tonight. I don't think it will. I feel like it won't. So, probably be tomorrow. Um, but you'll, you'll be seeing this on whatever day it is anyway. But, yeah. We are, we're done being here. The room is a mess. We just didn't get it cleaned, obviously, because I was telling you about how when you're, if you have to get cleaned, you have to stand up and wait to do your bed. We're kind of sitting down the whole time. Um, so the room's quite messy. We tried to kind of make it an organised mess for them, kind of leave it in the corner and stuff. Okay, I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to check in again when I get home, just to say how it was after the fight and stuff like that, because I know they're going to get a bit swollen. The boob massage lady said that. Which makes sense because I feel like I swell anyway on a plane, let alone when I have new two new twins on my chest. So, um, yeah, probably it might be a bit uncomfortable as well flying. To be honest, um, having to sit like on them chairs, I hate them chairs so much. And the run airplanes are so uncomfortable. But yeah, I'll check in with you again when I get home. This is the current situation. It's now Monday. Um, excuse the, the state of me. This is what it looks like when you get a boob job. So. I forgot to film an outro because that's 
what I do every time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that vlog. So yesterday was actually really stressful in the airport. I just don't like airports and flying on the best of days. I think I really built myself up. I was worried about my boobs on the plane. They swelled up a little bit. Um, I think I was just really, really stressed. I just wanted to get home. Um, so that was quite stressful. So I didn't even film yesterday because I just was not in the mood. To be honest, I was so tired after that then. Um, that I didn't sleep great last night. I felt really sick. I had a spice bag. I think that just sent my stomach west. It was too heavy because the whole time I've been eating kind of drips and drabs and kind of eating slowly and stuff. But I kind of like, you know, ate all at once. So that wasn't good for my stomach. Then I slept really badly after that and it just wasn't, wasn't a cute day. But feeling so much better today. It's now Monday um, and the vlog is going up today. So yeah, as always, I can't believe I forgot to film an outro yet again but next time next vlog I will um but yeah that's everything I'm gonna do a boob job Q&A in the next few weeks let me know if you have any questions leave them down below I'll try to answer them and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week bye